Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. On today's podcast, we're going to talk about one single module, and it is awesome. It's worth its own episode. It is called Context Module. Now, a lot of things in Drupal, at least in my opinion, seem much more complex than they actually are once you sort of understand what they're doing and, and how to use them. Uh, organic groups is a good idea um, of, of, or a good example of this. I got people ask me, asking me all the time, hey, I don't understand organic groups. Well, it's pretty straightforward. I think context module is the same thing. Uh, context module seems like it's really complex, but I think after uh, just five minutes in this video, you're going to see uh, that it's a very basic module. Uh, that serves a very cool function. It's kind of new, uh, so a lot of people haven't tested it, haven't uh, worked with it yet, uh, but we're gonna do that today and show you how powerful it can be. Uh, so let's dive right into context module. First thing we're gonna do is to go to drupal.org slash project slash context. Uh, something you are gonna notice is that there was a version five uh, for Drupal five. I haven't used that version, so I don't know if it's any different. I kind of think it's not. Um, but uh, Drupal 6, even though it's in beta, is pretty stable and pretty powerful. So um, I'm, you know, I can't, I can only speak for myself, but I'm using it on a bunch of production sites myself. Um, so let's look at once you drop context module into your modules folder or your sites all modules folder to do things properly. Um, we're going to have a whole section in our modules page that uh, will have three modules context, context contrib, and context UI. You just want to turn all three of these on. Uh, context is similar to views or image cache where it has a separate UI module. So once you're done configuring it, you can turn that off just to save a little processing, a little um, complexity to your site. Contrib basically makes context work with uh, some things that you're going to want it to work with, uh, such as views, which is a big one. So I've just got a bunch of junk content. I just let uh, Devel module go ahead and generate a bunch of fake content on my site here. Uh, and I've taken two of these and turned them into uh, menu items just so we can kind of see a structure here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up context module. We're gonna go site building context. And you'll see when you start off, you have no contexts. Now, what is a context? Let's stop and talk about that for a minute. Uh, a context is a section of the site that you define uh, through a bunch of sort of if, if then kind of uh, behavior. Now you don't have to write any if then code, but you're saying, uh, you know, if the, the page has this URL or if it's this view or if it's this content type uh, or whatever, you can sort of mix and match all of these different things. You're going to say that is a context. That is a section I'm defining of my site. This gives us sort of a human way to define sections of the site. So uh, it, it allows us to say this view over here and all of these content types and uh, all of these pages under this path are all part of one section. So even if they're sort of spread out across the site, maybe we want them to all behave in a similar way. That's what a context is. So let's go in and build a context. So we're going to go ahead and click add a context. And let's look at these three uh, different uh, things across the top that you're going to use to name your context. Uh, they're a little confusing, but I'll give you some tips just to kind of keep it straightforward. Context UI, you can just leave this namespace. Uh, there's really never a reason to change it, at least not one that I understand. Uh, attribute. Now, this uh, I, I use personally as what type of context is this? Is this a context that's a single page? Is it a context that's a, a section of a site? Is it a context that's global, which means it's the whole site or maybe large chunks of the site? So usually if you have a, a con you think of a context as a whole section of a site, you might want to leave this as section. So let's say um, that our section is going to be all of our, let's say our story nodes. Let's say we're going to take all of our story nodes and we're going to make that our context. Now it doesn't matter if our story, where our story nodes are on the site, doesn't matter what their URL is, doesn't matter anything about them. We're going to consolidate those into a single context. So this context is going to be all story stuff. Because what we're going to look at in a second is it's not just story notes, but now under here we can we can trigger the cut conditions that uh, that make this context active. So node pages, we're going to say on all node types of story, as part of this context. Uh, user pages, we don't not, not do anything with user pages. Site wide context, uh, we're going to get into this in a second. This means your entire site. Path. If you want to specify specify things by uh, the actual path, you can do that here. This is uh, very very similar or the same to how you uh, have blocks show up on the on the core Drupal blocks uh, configuration. You could say uh, only show up on on pages with this path. You can do it based on active menu. Uh, you can do it based on theme variables. 
And uh, you can also, uh, I'm sorry, these are these are reactions. These aren't actual conditions. But um, you can you can say when I'm in this context, this is the active menu item. You can say set these theme variables. You can say disable these regions when I'm in this context. So you could say every time I'm in the story context, disable a bunch of reason uh, regions. Uh, that's a really good thing. Now something I skipped that I'm going to use views. Um, you can say when I'm within a view. Uh, a certain view, make that view part of the context. And I've actually misnamed these in views. I just noticed that. This is actually, this first one here is actually a view that shows all of my story nodes. So I'm going to make that active. So when I'm in that view, I'm not viewing a, a story node page, but I am viewing a specific view that I want to make part of that context. So once you've done all of this, you can do some stuff. Reactions, these, these are what I was talking about a second ago. You can disable regions. So I could say, in um, you know in this this context, don't show a footer. I do that automatically. It's not going to render my footer. My footer is going to be gone. Um, obviously, this has some theme implications. Uh, you'll want to make your divs uh, only show if a footer shows stuff like that. Uh, you can disable content topped in a region. You can do multiple. You know whatever. Uh, and then we're going to get into sort of a blocks menu um, on crack because it's super powerful. So you can say in this context, show the powered by Drupal. Um, uh, you can see it's already enabled in my blocks menu, so that's not a good example. But you can say, show my who's new in, uh, in the right sidebar. So I can save that. So I just created this context. So now what I can do is I can, I can go to any of my story nodes. And actually, I happen to know that my view that I created is called slash stories. So now in uh, my stories view that I selected, you can see now that this block is in the right sidebar because it's part of this context. But if I go away, it's not on the right sidebar. So if I look at any of these nodes, these are all story nodes, it stays in the right sidebar. Uh, now you can, of course, combine uh, different, uh, different contexts. So let's create a context that, uh, for some reason, just includes that one view. Uh, maybe I want to change the attribute to view, uh, just because it helps me understand what I'm doing. So I could say my story view. Now, this isn't a very good example, but it's, it'll show you what you can do. Now, I can say views uh, in this story view. Uh, now, I want to uh, put my, oh, I don't know. I want to put my, my who's online also in the first sidebar. Or I'm sorry, in the, in the, I want to put it in the second sidebar. So I can say sidebar last add. Boy, if I could, sorry, I'm messing up here. Uh, who's online, I can say sidebar last add. Now I can save it. So this is going to be combined. So if I go to back to my stories context or my stories view, you'll see that I now have both of these. But if I go to a story node, I only have the who's new because that's not part of the second uh, one that I created. So real quick, let me create, uh, show you a couple other ways you might want to create uh, context. Uh, I personally do this for all of my home pages. So my home pages are going to have different blocks, different layouts than all of my other pages. So I use an attribute called page and I call it my home page. And then I can say um, the, uh, the path is just front. So this is just my front page. And then I can add all of my blocks that I want on my front page. Let's say I want the development, the primary links, and the syndicate. And I want them all in... Oh, the content top. I have no idea if that's going to look like anything, but we'll try. And then if I go back to my home page, yep, there you go. So they all dropped into my content top. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. It's a, that, that's, that's all it is. That's all context is. But it's extremely powerful. So what you can see, really probably in the end, your goal should be, so I'm going to go back to the blocks menu. When I'm done using context and say I have blocks populated all over my site, and let's say I have 50 blocks and they're all enabled, my blocks menu still looks like this. It still looks empty because everything is done via context. Hopefully that is helpful. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter or uh, join our Facebook group. Both of them are at mustardseedmedia.com in the top right corner. Go ahead and click those. Uh, there's also a chip-in link on these pages uh, if you want to throw a couple bucks at the podcast. We appreciate you watching. Hope you have a good week. Enjoy Context Module.